Hello, this is Josef Miguel from uh, Velectronic. And today we're going to present the A Envelope. Uh, is our first product in this model world. Uh, well, this model is being uh, created with all the experience that we already have during all those 40 years of experience developing electronic projects for industrial purposes. But well, that, let's say that um, somehow this model will catch me and I decided to to create our own uh, modular developments and this is the first one so we will start with this one let's say what's next in the future hopefully plenty more This is the first video of a series of videos related to this uh, model from here, the A envelope. And in each of the videos, we're going to show the different capabilities that this model has. Since it's a pretty complex model, we will split uh, those explanations and, and show off of, of every use case in different shorter videos. And I think it will be much more practical for the consumption. Actually, the A envelope. Uh, in his basics, what it is, is a quadruple associative envelope. It means that we have independent channels. For every channel, what it is, is just a complete ADSR envelope. And those channels can be associated in between and also can share those inputs from here and also share the events, the generation, and so on. So you can do plenty of things, pretty complex. And as said before, this is the reason because I prefer to split in several videos the explanation of the full features of this model. So today we're going to start with the basics. That's going to explain what it is. At the end of the day, what it is is just an envelope that do have the four regular stages, the attack, decay, sustain and release. Each of those stages uh, has also two different parameters to be tuned. The main parameter, as you can imagine, is the time, and it's shown here through so this set of, of, of LEDs that we see here. Then also those LEDs are reflected there just to show in which scale are you. When both are off, you are in the first scale that goes from 0 to 20 milliseconds. When you are in the next scale, you are from uh, 20 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds. The third scale is from 200 milliseconds till 2 seconds and the fourth scale is from 2 seconds till 20 seconds. That is pretty, pretty long. So, as said here, what do we have is the time parameters. That is equivalent for each step. We can see each of the stages contain, including the sustain, we will explain later on why, why in the sustain also has, has sense to have the time parameter. The second parameter of each stage is more related about how this stage is progressing. If we want a, an exponential progression, a logarithmic progression, or just a linear one. So for this purpose, we just toggle the button that, uh, that every knob has. And we can just select in the middle that will be linear. If we go to the left side, this will become logarithmic. If we go to the right side, it will become exponential. Okay. And also we can select this shape in every of the stages. Well, the, the most obvious one is the attack, decay, and release. But what happens with the sustain? The sustain, what we are suggesting here, is not the shape, because as you can imagine, the sustain is just a straight line, an horizontal line that keeps the level constant. So what we do have here is just a possibility to go up and down with this level. Let's do a small demonstration. If I just tap a key from my keyboard, here you will see the shape of this envelope that we are currently configured. This shape is configured by the attack, the decay, the sustain, and the release. In this case, all of the shapes are linear because as I can see here, well, this is pretty close to linear. Now it's exactly linear. 
So if I play with the sustain, what I will see is that I can go upper or lower in the level. If I try to do some, I will press the key longer, maybe will we see this exactly easier. Then if I go up, we will see this up. Okay. So yes, those are the two parameters. Those two parameters can construct the envelope shape that we desire. For instance, if we go now to logarithmic one, we will see that in the attack phase, we are getting logarithmic. Meanwhile, for instance, we can get the opposite sense with the attack. Let's get lower with the sustain just to emphasize the shape. Yes, here we have the decay. And then the release, of course, can be, as we said before, shaped till what we want. We can reduce the time here to get the typical shape that we usually get from the traditional envelopes. But as said, we can get very weird shapes, like we can just do one thing like this, and you will have something completely weird. And also, we can do things like, for instance, going back in time from the decay, then when the decay became zero, then the level is defining the top of the attack. So it means that right now, in the next key, when will be pressed, we will see that the attack finishes at the sustain, the sustain continues with the release. Mm. We do have this kind of hum here, so the ham shape of, of this envelope. Mm. Mm. Okay, so, and then, of course, we can create an opposite shape on the other side. And this will be something completely different. Good. So I think that this is the basics of the of the A envelope that I will show today. Those are the inputs of each of the channels. Those are the four outputs. Okay. And below the four the four outputs, they are also a copy of each output but inverted. So you get the direct shape and the inverted shape that in this case I have plucked here a filter that well in combination with the PCA can give you some kind of, of this whoa whoa gets this sound that reminds of something like this. That let's Okay, this is it. Let's go for the next video if you want.